Chinese multinational enterprises are increasingly important players in international business, generating revenues on the 2022 Fortune Global 500 list that exceeded US companies. Many have become global leaders in high value and high technology sectors. This article offers insights into how Chinese multinationals internationalize and strategize in an era of increasingly fractured globalization characterized by shifts in the global economy as China challenges long-standing US dominance. It profiles eight Chinese multinationals that embody four strategic international growth pathways, bouncing up, down, sideways, and back. Chinese multinational enterprises, or MNEs, use cross-border mergers and acquisitions of firms in advanced economies as a springboard. Appliance maker Hair and online travel firm Ctrip have progressed from strategic asset acquisition to capability building and leveraging to become global players. However, some firms like Huawei or H&A Airlines have perhaps bounced up too high and hit a geopolitical or regulatory resistance ceiling, resulting in a more home-centered pathway termed bouncing down. Facing setbacks stemming from geopolitical tensions and domestic regulatory intervention in the era of fractured globalization, some Chinese firms attempt to employ a strategy called bouncing sideways, a more gradual movement from capability building to capability leveraging strategies. ByteDance's move of headquarters to Singapore and Tencent's Asian and European gaming acquisitions resemble this pathway. On the other hand, firms like shipping giant Costco have bounced back from the negative impact of geopolitical tensions and acquired a stake in a German port in 2023. E-commerce giant Alibaba is also bouncing back with a major restructuring, helping to manage the impacts of domestic regulatory intervention. In sum, Chinese MNEs face new realities that require new strategies and pathways. To learn more, please read Chinese Multinationals Internationalization Strategies, New Realities, New Pathways in California Management Review, Volume 66, Issue 1.